Here are the video solutions for NCFE level two functional skills maths. This is um, section A, which is the non-calculator section, and this is from their sample paper. So making a start on question number one, uh, just be careful here because we're just looking at the Downton flat, which is this lot here. So there are five in total, and out of the five, how many cost more than 420? No, yes, no, no, yes. So that's two out of five. Now two out of five, we can turn that into four out of 10. Two fifths is the same as four tenths, just uh, doubling top and the bottom. And four tenths, um, well, first of all, uh, we want this as a percentage. Now percent means out of 100. So I've multiplied the bottom number by 10. So do the same to the top, I get 40 out of 100. So 40%. Perhaps yeah, you just know that a fifth is 20%. So if one fifth is 20%, then two fifths is 40%. Okay, for B, we want to work out which one's cheapest going off the median. So the median is the middle value once the once they are in order. So let's order these num numbers for um, Upton. So let's look at the ones that begin with a three. So 75, 89, 95. Uh, so 75, 89, and 95. I'll just put the three in afterwards, there we go. So I'm putting a U for the Upton place and the 400 ones uh, is going to be 33, 50, 75. 33, 50, 75, and that was with a four in front. Okay, so the one in the middle is um, the median. So to find the one in the middle, I'm gonna cross one off on the right and one on the left and do the same again. Unfortunately, I don't get one in, a, in the middle, and that's because I've got an even number of values. There were six values. The median is halfway between 395 and 433. So what we need to do here, and um, the easiest way to work this out is to add these two numbers together and divide the total by two. Basically, we're just working out the mean of these two numbers. Five plus three is eight. Nine plus three is 12 carry one. Three plus four plus the one is eight. 828 divided by two. That is 414 pounds and that is Upton. Downton should be a little bit easier because uh, there are only five values. Well, there, there's an odd number of values, so we will get one in the middle. So it, it's going to go uh, 330, 368. So Downton, 330, oops, comma, 368. Then it's 412. And then it was four two five four four seven. Okay, again, cross one off the left and the right. Do the same again. So the median for Downton is four hundred and twelve. Uh, which one is less? Well, we can see um, which location is the cheapest. I'm just trying to work out why they've put a pound sign here. It looks like it doesn't, it doesn't say. Um, okay, well, the, we'll just say uh, 412, which is Downton. Okay, so for this question, it doesn't matter that there's three of them, whether it's one or three of them, it's still two fifths plus one sixth. So, what we're go I'm going to do is work out the fraction that is food and travel. So here I'm gonna use my uh, my crisscross smiley face technique or the butterfly, the cross multiplication. Two times six is 12 plus one times five, which is five over five times six, which is 30. So 12 plus five, and that is 17 over 30. So that means they've spent 17 thirtieths on food and travel combined. So therefore the rest is just going to be 30 take away 17 over 30 and that is 13 over 30. Oops. There we go, so 13 thirtieths. Okay, part D. So the flat is 5,200 pounds per year. I'm gonna work out 2% of this amount. Well, 1% is going to be 5,200 divided by 100. So 1% 1 is 52, oops, 52. So if 1% is 52, then 2% is going to be double that, so 104. So 5,200 plus 104, that comes to 5,304. And that is 
that is lower than 5,400. So will it still be within budget? The answer is yes. Okay, for this question, we need to work out the area of the living room. It's an unusual shape, but if we can t turn it into two nice shapes, um, and given that we've been, they've provided us with a formula for the area of a trapezium, which is nice. Um, so what I've got first of all is a rectangle. So here I've got 2.5 multiplied by 3.5, and that is 8.75 square meters. And for here, um, I've got the trapezium. Now it's A plus B over two. Now A plus B are the parallel sides. So that is 1.5 plus, and this length is the same as the 3.5. And 1.5 plus 3.5 is five. So the area is going to be five divided by two multiplied by the height, which is 1.4. And that comes to 3.5 square meters. So the total area, these two amounts added together. Um, so let's just write that down. That is, oh, sorry, it has explained the A and the B thing here, which I hadn't noticed. Um, so it was, uh, forgotten what we were doing there, 8.75 plus, the area of the trapezium which is 3.5 and that is 12.25 square meters it's 20 pounds per square meter so therefore 12.25 multiplied by 20 pounds and that comes to 245 pounds and it does cost less than 250 pounds so will the landlord replace the carpet uh, the answer is uh, yes he will because it's less than 250 pounds. Not that we, we probably don't need to bother writing that uh, final statement there. Okay, so um, let's take a look at this one. So option one is they share the rent equally. So if they share the rent equally, then Jazz will pay one third of the total amount. If it's based on the area, so the ratio of the area, Alex to Jazz to Steph is 12 to 18 to 20. Now I can turn this into, into fractions. It's often worth turning ratios into fractions. 12 plus 18 is uh, 30, 40, 50. So if we are doing this uh, by area, then Jazz will pay 18 50ths. And 18 50ths, we can turn that into a percentage, which is 36 over 100, so 36%. If it's split between the three of them, it's a third, which is 33.3%. So Jazz, if if it's just split equally uh, among the three of them, then Jazz is better off as you'll pay 33.3%, not 36%. So the for um, Jazz, the cheapest for Jazz is option one. Okay, and that's the end of section A.